Hello everybody, this is Fuck Gaming, and I will be doing a quick overclocking guide for the GTX 980 Ti. So first what you're going to get is MSI Afterburner. When you get it, it's going to look a lot different from the normal one. It's going to look like, I want to say this. So, it'll look like this. So first what you want to do is, is you want to get the thing. I'm going to open back up mine because I'm used to that. Let me turn off. And because I'm used to my red one, that's it. I have an MSI GTX 980 Ti. So the overclock on these are really high. So first, what you want to do is so I'm completely put that to the top and prioritize heat. Always do that. And now just simply start off with 150% on the cl uh, clock core, and then memory core to 500%. So, and then run, well, first apply it, and then run with, right here, Valley Benchmark. Valley Benchmark is a free benchmarking software. I usually use it to just test stuff, and so this will be running at around 4,001 megahertz. I have been able to get it up to 600, and then this to 250, and I'll usually put this on 10 volts. The only time you want to turn up your core voltage, ignore the heat my case fans are off because of re reasons, but um, actually, the only time you put this up is whenever you just keep going up the core clock and the memory clock, and whenever you start to get unstable, you put core voltage into it, and so you want to save and put that to there, and then lock your profiles. But this, I'm using this for current game stuff, so just launch it like that, and apply it, and I don't apply it startup just in case there's something like it. If you overclock too much, it can lock you out of your system. Not lo really lock you out of your system. It will just freeze your system, and most of the time your drivers will crash. But there's a point when the NVIDIA drivers are just... I don't know why that didn't say. The NVIDIA drivers, I think it's around 750 on that, and 300 on this with a 40 volt. There's around this whenever the NVIDIA drivers were crashing for me, which is just NVIDIA drivers, so I really can't control that. But that was the quick guide on the overclocking of the 980Ti. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Like if you like. Dislike if you didn't. Have a beautiful day.